What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp Essentials tutorial for you. So this week we're going to talk about creating floor plans in SketchUp. Uh, this is probably one of the most common um, common reasons that people start using SketchUp. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. When you create a floor plan, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. Um, so generally you've got two situations. You've either got a situation where you're just drawing a floor plan um, kind of out, of out of nothing, maybe out of uh, like measurements that you've taken or something like that. And then there's also the situation where you may have an image of a floor plan and uh, you want to go ahead and draw that into 3D. So we'll talk about both those situations. So first of all, let's talk about a situation where, um, let's say you've got a situation where you've got a space and you just kind of want to draw a floor plan. So generally what I like to do is I like to draw if I don't have an image, I like to draw the outline of the space first. So I like to figure out kind of what the perimeter looks like. So let's say I've got like a 20 foot wall and then I've got a five foot wall. So you can just come in here with the line tool and just kind of draw in your shapes or draw, draw in your dimensions. And remember to uh, make sure to try to draw these along the uh, axes. So um, make sure that your lines are going along the red or the green when you're doing this. Um, it's going to make everything a lot easier for you as you move forward. But so generally I like to go ahead and draw the uh, perimeter of my floor plan first. And then you can go ahead and come in here and uh, let's say you've got a four inch wall. So what, what you're going to do is you're going to use the offset tool once you've kind of drawn this shape um, in order to create your walls. So I'm going to go ahead and create a perimeter around this and to do that you're just going to tap that F key to activate the offset tool. And remember the offset tool allows you to draw an offset off of a perimeter. So in this case I can dictate how thick that is. So in this case let's say I want my wall to be six inches. I just click on that wall, type in six and hit the enter key. And you see what that does is that comes in here and this creates this kind of wall shape for you. So anyway, now that you've kind of got your uh, general interior wall set, you can come in here and you can start creating spaces. And probably the way that I would say that you want to do that is you can just use the rectangle tool in order to do that. So like, let's say I've got a room in here and I've measured it and it's 10 feet by 10 feet. What you can do is activate the rectangle tool by tapping the R key and select this corner and then you can go in here and you can type in 10 feet comma 10 feet and that'll draw a 10 foot by 10 foot rectangle right here and so once you've got this 10 foot by 10 foot rectangle you've kind of got your room roughed out and so you can do that for all your different spaces so let's say you've got a 10 foot by 8 foot room over here let's say you've got and you know if you're not being super precise you can also just come in here and just draw a rectangle in here. But let's say you've got a 14 foot by 8 foot room over here. And then you've got kind of a big living space in here. But let's go ahead and call this 12 foot by 12 foot. So now you've got some rooms kind of roughed in here. I'm going to move this over because this hallway is going to look kind of funky if I do that this way. But anyway, now you've got kind of your spaces roughed out in here. Um, so now what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing you did before with the offset tool where you're going to come in here and offset everything. Um, and you can either offset that out or in depending on what you, you probably want to offset it out because you've set your inside dimensions here by creating this wall. So you can just use the offset tool and just do a six inch offset to the outside. And uh, one of the things about uh, tools in SketchUp is they retain whatever you did last. So in this case, I can double click on this space and it will do the same offset that I did over here. So uh, with the offset tool active, all you have to do is come over here and double click on each one of these lines in order to quickly extrude those. You see how I extruded all of those just by double clicking it. And then uh, what you will have to do once you've done this is probably come in here and clean. You're going to want to clean up the intersections between the exterior wall and your interior wall just like this. And you can just come in here with the erase tool. So tap that E key and then just kind of click and hold and drag your mouse over these. And basically what you're going for here is you're going for kind of an uninterrupted face. So what you want to do is you want to be able to click on this and uh, you see how it selects the entire wall in here. That's what you want it to be able to do. 
So the next thing we're going to do with this is we're going to extrude this into 3D. But the first thing we need to talk about is uh, how we want to handle our doors. Um, so there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can either come in here with the rectangle tool um, and cre go ahead and create your door openings just like this if you want to do that. That's one way you can do that. And then when we extrude this into 3D using the push-pull tool, you'll already have a door opening in here. Um, the trick with that though is it does create some kind of issues when you come in here because, you know, doors go up you know, three quarters of the way to the ceiling and then you've got a little piece that hangs down. Well, if you come back and you try to model that, what it's going to do is it's going to heal your face um, about a million different times and it gets kind of annoying when it does that. But you can do that. You can just come in here and you can just draw a rectangle piece just like this and use push-pull to kind of push everything and then erase all this and all that. You can definitely do that that way if it's easier for you to rough in your door openings first. The other thing you can do, and I found that this is a lot easier, is if you do want to come in here and just push-pull everything to its height, uh, to the height that you want it to be, to be, then it's a lot easier for you to come in here and just draw your doors in and then you can just push pull them through. So let me, let me back up a little bit. So that's just, there's a couple different ways you can handle doors, but let's talk about extruding this into 3D. So once you've got all your walls in here, you're going to activate the push pull tool by tapping the P key. You're going to click on these walls and then you can go ahead and type in a height if you want. So let's say that your ceilings are nine foot high. You can come in here and with the push pull tool active, just type in nine foot and hit the enter key. Um, that'll definitely work. That'll extrude all of your walls to this height. So you can see now what you've got is you've got the space in 3D. So you've got your 3D openings and everything else. So that's one way you can do that. So that's the way to get all your walls into 3D. Um, and then what you can do now, now that we talked about doors a little bit, is you can come in here with the rectangle tool and you can draw your doors in this way. So you can type in three foot comma seven foot, which is a pretty three foot comma seven foot. That's a pretty common door height. So you can come in here, you can draw your doors. And then what you're gonna do once you've done that is you're gonna use the push pull tool to push these all the way through the wall. So you can see how this gives me an offset limited option right so that means it won't let me push pull any further than that um, if I push pull this all the way through the wall and I single click you can see SketchUp deletes the face because it knows you push something all the way through and it's basically using that shape to cut an opening in this space so you can come in here and you can just draw these in I think this is a lot easier um, than um, coming in here and creating your openings first and then coming back and remodeling these shapes right here and remember once you draw this you can double click with that push pull tool and it'll push pull your door through the wall just like that so if I do three foot comma seven foot oh, I keep typing inches instead of foot so or feet so if you type in three foot comma seven foot hit enter and then activate push pull. All you have to do is double click and you can see that automatically pushes everything through just like this. So this is a real quick, easy way to come in here and create your floor plans. So this strategy works really good if you don't have an image, if you're just kind of creating a shape in here. One other thing you can do real quick is you can come in here with the, uh, with the dimension tool and you can click on a line just like this and then click off of the line. And remember, don't click the midpoint, but actually click the line itself. You see how I, when I mouse over um, a dement, or if I mouse over a line, it turns blue. If you click on that and then move your mouse off of it and click again, you can set a dimension. So in that way, you can come in here and you can draw dimensions on top of this as well. Um, and this works really good. And um, if, if you want to get like super in-depth with your dimensions, you're probably going to want to use Layout. Uh, that's SketchUp's actual layout software that like architects and people like that use to create actual plans. But if you're just kind of sketching something up, using it for personal use, this works great for you. So you can come in here and you can dimension that stuff. The other thing you can do, and uh, this is kind of a cool trick because you see when I, uh, when I turn this to top down, 
you can see it's got the perspective going on. So instead of seeing just these walls, you're seeing everything going towards a vanishing point off in the distance. What you can do is you can come up here to view, sorry, camera and uncheck perspective. And when you do that, what that does is that cr that draws everything in a straight up and down. So everything's in more of, uh, it doesn't have perspective anymore. Nothing goes to a vanishing point. It's just straight flat, just like this. So if you're trying to print off a flat view of this, you can go to a top view, turn perspective off, and you can print stuff off just like that. So anyway, that's how you would do this if you don't have an image if you're just kind of sketching something up and you can also come through here and do the same thing with windows and the exterior wall so let's say you had some exterior windows and stuff like that you can definitely come in here draw your windows and do the same thing where you push pull the openings and all of that different stuff and that works really good um, so in that way if you want to you can draw an entire house and then you can kind of heal this top piece just like this by drawing lines across it and you could actually come in here and draw a roof on top of this building as well if you wanted to and actually have like a real exterior view of your building so you can get as in depth with this as you want to do but so that's where I'm gonna end part one of this video. Uh, this got a little bit long, so I'm gonna go ahead and break it into two pieces. Um, the first part's gonna be uh, just drawing a floor plan without an image, and then the second's gonna focus more on bringing an image in and using that to create your floor plan. So anyway, if you like this video, remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Uh, every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. So in any case, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.